looks like I've arrived a bit late. Too bad. I rather miss the whole Darkspawn killing thing. King Alistair. I'd wanted to come and give the Wardens a formal welcome. I certainly wasn't expecting this. What's the situation? What Darkspawn remained have fled, Your Majesty. The Grey Wardens who had arrived from Orlais appear to be either dead or missing. Missing? As in taken by the Darkspawn? Do they even do that? I do not know, Your Majesty. I know only that we cannot account for all the Wardens. I see. And how about you, dear wife? You weren't badly hurt, I see. That's a bit of an understatement, isn't it? Ah, you have quite the task ahead of you. Really, I'd like to help you fight Darkspawn, but you're on your own for the moment. Hey, what am I? Chop nug livers? From the smell, that's not a bad guess. I came here to join the Grey Wardens, and from the looks of it, you could use the extra hands. Now where's the giant cup? I'll gargle and spit! Ha! Well, smack my ass and call me Sally. I'm in! I... suppose all are welcome in this dire time. Joining the Wardens, eh? Well, good luck with that. King Alistair, your majesty beware, this man is a dangerous criminal. Oh, the dwarf is a bit of an ass, but I wouldn't go that. She means me. This is an apostate who we're in the process of bringing back to the Circle to face justice. Oh, please. The things you people know about justice would fit into a thimble. I'll just escape again, anyhow. Never. I will see you hanged for what you've done here, murderer. Murderer? But those Templars were... Oh, what's the use? You won't believe me, anyhow. It seems there isn't much to say. Unless you have something to add, Commander. A decision which will have dire consequences on the fate of Thetis. What? Never! I believe the Grey Wardens still retain the right of conscription. No? I will allow it. If... If your majesty feels it is best. Ha! <laughs> Way to go, kid! Welcome aboard! Me? A Grey Warden? I guess that will work. Congratulations, Sir Mage. I look forward to fighting at your side. Then if you have everything under control, I will need to take my leave. I believe the estate has been secured, yes. We have suffered great losses, but the Darkspawn are gone, and there are survivors. Oh, excuse my manners. I am Veril, Seneschal of Vigil's Keep, and I am most grateful for your timely rescue, Commander. I will aid you in ruling the lands of Amaranthine. Some of the soldiers and vigil staff survived, but none of the Orlesian wardens made it. Come and speak to me soon. There are many matters to attend to, not the least of which is the joining. You will need to replenish your numbers. I hate having to ask you to do this, love. It'd be... So much more interesting to keep you at court. <laughs> Such a temptress. Sadly, I need to deal with the trouble in the Venorn. But I will return as soon as I am able, I promise. It will be up to you to deal with the vestiges of the Blight before the situation grows out of control. No easy task, but I'm confident you are up to it. Now, let me say a quick goodbye before I change my mind. Before we do anything else, Commander, there's an urgent matter we must take care of. Right now I know of only one living warden assigned to all of Ferelden. That should be rectified. The others could aid you considerably. As you wish, Commander. The time has come for us to begin the joining. 
I shall speak the words that have been said since the first. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand, vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten, and that one day we shall join you. From this moment forth, Agron, you are a Grey Warden. What's this, the sampler size? Are you trying to say something about my height? Huh? Uh, this is the goblet we've always used. Really? Yeah. Not bad. Hmm. Uh, make her help us all. From this moment forth, Anders, you are a Grey Warden. So we need to drink Darkspawn blood? That's it? That is it, yes. Well, all right. But if I wake up two weeks from now on a ship bound for Ravain in nothing but my small clothes and a tattoo on my forehead, I'm blaming you. He lives, Commander, and will awaken in time. From this moment forth, Myrie, you are a Grey Warden. I have awaited this moment. the Maker watch over you now. Poor Myrian. Open the doors! The Commander must be informed about the Deep Road's entrance. It could be their base of operation. You'd have the Wardens chase a rumor then, Captain. And even if it proves true, unless the Pilgrim's path is cleared by the time your army assembles, they'll have nothing to eat but shoe leather. Garavel. Woolsey, the commander has had a long day. Woolsey says some merchants escaped the Darkspawn. They can reprovision you for a reasonable fee. And the vigil is yours. Take whatever weapons and armor you need. We'll be waiting when you're ready. Imagine, like, after the final battle of uh, Origins, they had a bunch of people up there with hundreds of vials just... Filling them with the arch demon blood. Mistress Woolsey says I can set up shop here. The merchant you saved was grateful to be alive. Restock me for a bargain. The savings are yours, of course. You need anything, Commander?
You need anything, come on. Commander. This is Sir Garavel, the new captain of the guard. I have a matter to bring to your attention. Potentially urgent. The Orlesians, wardens, I mean, began gathering information while they were here. The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. These hunters, Colbert and, well, the other one, claim to have stumbled across an entrance to the deep roads. Darkspawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Commander. Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Wolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at Whiteheart. I'm to act as treasurer of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One of those local men is right here, Mistress Woolsey. I have every confidence in the vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. Not wise harped itself. I'm from many places. I go where the wardens command. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city and maintain civilization. In the city of Amaranthine there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn or whatever they are are striking. The Fereldons are a proud people. They are proud of you especially. Had the First Warden sent foreign fighters, it would have caused great distrust amongst the locals. Barrel was specifically chosen as Seneschal because he commands great respect here. One thing that doesn't fit with my ending though is I get it for gameplay purposes is my character should have more authority than than any other warden commander here because you know she is co-ruler of the entire country after all no it is far to the north the fortress is said to be impregnable it still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed but their like will never be seen again she's wrong about that in a recent book there are griffins again About the Arling, he does not. But about the implications, a great deal. When Warden Commander Dryden was cast out of Ferelden generations ago, it created a dangerous precedent. Her true story, and that of the Warden's exile, is one you yourself uncovered at Soldier's Peak, at great personal risk. We are now presented with another precedent. Wardens owning lands and commanding fealty from lesser nobles. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example to other kingdoms that wardens are important, blight or no. Very well, Commander. Commander. My predecessor, Captain Rullins, and much of the senior staff were inside the keep proper at the time. How they met their fates is unknown. All we know is Darkspawn swarmed the keep. I talked with the Dwarf Voldrick earlier. It's his belief, and I concur, that they came from the Keep itself. 
The deep cellars go very deep indeed. Voldrick suspects the Darkspawn found a hidden route into the keep. Barely any, truth be told, and none of the wardens. But there are many soldiers still out patrolling the roads between here and Amaranthine. We can recover from this. That is disturbing, Commander. But all throughout the lands we've heard rumours. Tales of new Darkspawn. Terrifying ones, forged out of nightmare and shadow. Something grave is afoot. Good day, Commander. To business, then. Orle sent a dozen wardens to the vigil to await your arrival. Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. The Orlesian wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the blight ended. Kristoff was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. You did, but not to me. The wardens keep their own counsel. Wiser men than I have worried over that. One of the wardens said the archdemon's strength gave the horde some semblance of purpose. If they found some other purpose... <sighs> That's the only thing that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? We call her the Vigil. She's been around for a long spell. They say the Alamari barbarians first built a fort here to stop Tevinta incursions from the lowlands of the Waking Sea. They say that the castle is built on a mountain of bones. Much death here. My previous owner was a, a psychopath. So I imagine there are a lot of bones in the basement. As much as you like, sir. Generally, the Keep's Seneschal takes care of day-to-day -day matters. If anything important arises, I'll alert you. I should have told him the truth, huh? You need anything, Commander?
Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye, he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Just give me a moment. Here's my favorite new character of this uh, expansion. Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief, but it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar, that's for sure. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. If it isn't the great hero, Conqueror of the Blight and vanquisher of all evil. Aren't you supposed to be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? Somehow I just thought that my father's murderer would be, uh, more impressive. I am Nathaniel Howe. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? Your family was going to sell us out to the Olesians. How could he? A Grey Warden stole into his estate and slaughtered him before I could even talk to him. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you. To lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. If you're asking whether I knew what he was up to, the answer is no. I was squired in the free marches. Look, I don't know what happened with the Kuslans. It sounds like it was horrible. The entire war was. Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The Howes are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha! Ironic, isn't it? I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Hunting, scouting, poisons. Why? What do you care? If you let me go, uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go, I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens, here in my home. You're right. I'll go join King Alistair's service immediately. He'd be certain to give a how another chance. Not unsympathetic to him. Like he said, he was in the free marches. He probably doesn't know that his, uh, that his dad was like a total lunatic. 
We might know and just be in denial. Already? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? A uh how? -huh. It figures that they would turn up again. The Hows are implacable enemies, Commander. You what? I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? No, absolutely not. Hang me first. Hard to say. You like having Grey Wardens who want you dead? It's true, Zevran. You really want to how as a Grey Warden? You are a very strange woman. I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. An interesting decision, Commander. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you survive the joining. From this moment forth, Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. The moment of truth. The Howe is stronger than I expected. For better or for worse, he will live. I'm here to serve, Commander. I will do what can be done, but you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the Vigil considerably. Very well, Commander. I'm not going to do that uh, quest that the Seneschal has just yet, because that's like the... Uh, I think it's a stand in judgment kind of thing.
You need anything? 